The following is a live broadcast of a Lone Star Community Radio program. Recorded and broadcasted live on IRLoneStar.com, Connors FM 104.5, 106.1, and Facebook.com slash IRLoneStar. For more information on this show, please visit our show page at IRLoneStar.com slash shows. To sponsor or donate to this program, visit our donate page at IRLoneStar.com slash donate. Or email us at lscrstudios at gmail.com or give us a call at 936-666-1084. The Lone Star Community Radio production and broadcast is possible by folks like you. So sponsor and donate today. You're listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZW LP Conroe and 106.1 KCCZ LP Conroe and worldwide at IRLoneStar.com. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Monday. I am Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News out of downtown Conroe, Lone Star Community Radio, FM 104.5, 106.1. And we are live streaming on IRLoneStar.com. And we are on Facebook Live at Conroe Culture News. This will be put on YouTube and shared on Facebook a little bit later if you miss it, if you miss the live show. That's way okay if you have any questions during the show please please put them in there on facebook and uh, we'll get back with you and answer them um, a little bit later so today it's all about staying physically healthy during covid19 this has been a crazy crazy year as we move towards labor day in september what's it going to look like at christmas don't know. <laughs> Already it's been nothing but surprises. But, you know, it's really important that you stay physically healthy, you eat right, and you get out. You get outside. Yes, it's been hot, although the temperatures were lowered a little bit with that uh, thunderstorm that I think was kind of a surprise. I didn't know it was going to hit. And apparently it's hit locally as far as lightning and things. But we want to talk with the experts today. So we're going to hear from uh, Desmond Jones, who's going to be my first guest. And he's with Next Up Athletics. Then Rob Hamilton with the City of Conroe Parks and Recreation, all about their fall activities, things you can sign up to get your kids involved and uh, the new water park. And then we're going to end the segment today with Jessica Holloway. And she is the owner of Delta Life Fitness in Conroe, and she just opened up in January. So, what a whirlwind it's been for her. So, uh, this show is sponsored by Roger Stein Chiropractic, and they are located by Conroe High School. If you're a new patient, follow her Facebook page to see how she's giving back to CASA with every new patient. It's only $25, and it goes directly to help um, kids in the foster care program CPS with CASA. So, the Crichton Theater opened up for the first time this weekend in many months since like March and they had several performances put on by CYT Houston and they did Annie the Musical. Next weekend this weekend coming up uh, there's going to be another performance going on with CYT Houston and that's going to be Beauty and the Beast. So if you want tickets for that you can go to CYTHouston.org and uh, get tickets and uh, Sister Act. Sister Act is coming to the Owen Theater. Yay are we excited that events are starting to open up? Woo-hoo! So I'm not sure what the protocols all are for both theaters, so you'll just have to call the theaters and find out. But I believe they will have limited ticketing. So you can go to the Players Theater Company and uh, get tickets for Sister Act. That's starting September 4th to the 20th, owentheater.com. And, of course, you can listen to live music at the Red Brick Tavern, Pacific Yard House. And Pacific Yard House has uh, uh, the Haulers on Friday, Saturday night. They have the Zach Walther Band. And two black guys are playing during Sunday brunch from 11 to 3 next Sunday. If you haven't heard them before, they're really good. Kind of a, um oldies, rhythm and blues. Have you heard them before, Desmond? Uh, no, ma'am. They're really fun. Anyway, well, well maybe... It's old music you don't like. I don't know. But they're really entertaining. And I understand they have a Bloody Mary bar, too. So if you like Bloody Marys, I personally do not. But So that's at Pacific Yard House. Red Brick Tavern hosts Buck Yeager every Thursday at 7. And you can find out by going to their website, uh, other live music offerings at theredbricktavern.com. Great lunches, great dinners, great food. 
So with that, we're going to talk with Desmond Jones. And he is the owner and manager, I'm assuming. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, my, me and my, uh, my partner, Brent You Walters. have a partner, yes. yes and it's Next Up Athletics. You can find them on Facebook or nextupathletics.com. So how did you get started in this? Uh, I mean, honestly, it was all that I love. Uh, coming as a young man, I played sports growing up in Conroe. Um, went to Conroe High, went to the local junior highs, uh, intermediates. And since I've been here. You're just here, a Conroe guy, right? I, I'm a hometown guy. I'm definitely a hometown guy. Uh, I love it here. Uh, but uh, since I was around 12, I think I got into sports. My mom took me to the football field one day and dropped me off. Literally drug me out of the house, dropped me off, and probably a week later I fell in love. So um, ever since then I've been just chasing this dream of you know helping young athletes. And you like to run. Love to run. Not today. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not today. Not for a while. Yeah. Tell us about your injury right now. So um, I have a bilateral patella rupture. Um, the patella is basically your kneecap. The tendon below it um, is what allows your legs to extend, to bend, to walk. Um, I somehow uh, tore both of them at the same time. Very How did you do that? Uh, I was at a tournament, a flag football tournament. I, I'm a sports fan, so I, I love to stay active and, and get um, and to do as much as I can. So once uh, I went up to deflect a ball, uh, my right leg popped, and when I landed, my left leg popped. So kind of, kind of a little quick double whammy Twofer. there for me. Wow! Yeah. And so they're having flag football tournaments even during the COVID time. They actually just recently started to open back up for the flag football circuit, uh, probably in the last two months, roughly around the beginning or mid June. Uh, yeah. They started bringing it back, and um, that was probably like our my second tournament back uh, mm. since you know since the since the accident and everything, or since uh, COVID and everything. But the accident wasn't too bad. I mean, at the moment of it, it was pretty rough on me, but uh, I'm progressing pretty well. The doctors are happy with where I am, and, and they're excited to see how uh, how strong I've gotten in the last. So five no weeks. sports at the moment, right? Not yet. You're, Not you're yet. taking care of yourself so that you can fully excel. Yes, ma'am. When I'm, ready. I'm on a four month uh, recovery and, and uh, for braces, and then after the four months is up, I will be able to go without braces. But for two months, I can't have. I'll have low impact, so no running, no jumping, light explosive. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I totally get it. <laughs> right, right, yeah. You're telling <laughs> Been me there, done yeah. that a year ago. Absolutely. Yes. So, okay, so you uh, went to Conroe High School, yes, and uh, you were a district-wide receiver, first team all district-wide rece receiver. You also did track and field. Yes, ma'am. So you were very involved, and it sounds like you just went to the top on all of that. I had a lot of great people around me, uh, a, lot of, a lot of support from, you know, the people who love me and uh, my, my best friends, my brothers to me, basically, at this point. And um, uh, we, they just helped me train, helped me stay focused. Uh, I think that was a lot of it. They helped me stay focused, helped me keep my mind in the right place and eventually went on to win a state championship and like, receive a scholarship for track and field. Oh, did you? So, and you took that to Sam Houston? Yes, ma'am, where That's I ran awesome. the uh, 400 and uh, the, the uh, relays. Yeah. So do you like individual sports better or team sports? Or does it matter? I love to compete. So wherever I can be the very best makes me the most happy. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, football football is probably going to forever have my heart, though. So I guess uh, I guess team sport would be the, be the answer. So what's happening with college football? Oh, right now with college <laughs> football, it's crazy. Uh, just seeing a lot of those big teams pull out right now, seeing the Power 5 schools pull yeah. out for the COVID, and then you have some teams that are still deliberating what they're going to do, what decisions they're going to make. Sam Houston is still in, aren't they? As or of now, uh, the Southland hasn't came up with anything that's saying that they're going to be postponed this season, but, I mean, it's every, day, every day is a toss-up, so you really just never know what you're going to get. So do you like pro football or college football better? Oh, college. College. College okay. all day. All day. All I, day. Lo I love to see people compete. I love to see people <laughs> work to be the best. And at the pro level, you are already the best. So to watch those young guys work for it. Well, you have my heart there as a uh, past runner. That was my one regret that I didn't um, run through high school and through college. That's yes. my biggest regret. So I think I would have loved it. So good for you for doing that. So that you, you took what you learned and the kinesiology major and all of that and your past experiences, and you started up your own place, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. When did you open it? Uh, we actually opened the gym here in uh, 2018, August 1st. So um, right here off of Fraser, 2017, North Fraser, Suite G11. 
Um, we opened there. Uh, me and Brent Walters, he uh, played at Lamar. Uh, he played football at Lamar University. And we've been friends since we were in high school. He's actually from Willis. So we're actually right next to each other. We grew up knowing about each other's ability on the, off the court, on the field. Uh, and I, I think we just kind of gravitated to each other based off personality and, mm -hmm. and where our goals were. And we got together and we, we had a couple of conversations. And it really took a span of like three years before we got together to actually to start to collaborate on some things. And once we finally got together, it's like, like the rest is history. We just got running and, and we love it. So next up, athletics. What is different about that than other places like Gold's Gym or, I don't know, the right. YMCA or anything else? So what we do is more specific towards athletes. Uh, we look for, we look to bring something out of other of individuals. Honestly, uh, it's more so that sometimes athleticism and talent takes you so far, and when that bridge when that stops, we we come in to kind of push you a little bit further mentally and kind of get you to understand what the next level is going to be like, understanding what it takes to to push yourself and your body to the next level. Um, as far as sports and and basically, uh, I'm sorry, sports and basics of what we do, you know, it's strength agility speed power we bring those 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 regular routines into our workout program but it's the mental aspect that we give the athletes that really really make the difference now i believe if you really are focused and you, with your head and you really want to achieve something you can achieve anything absolutely. that's my belief absolutely so um for instance when i would run a marathon it's a head game right the feet just go <laughs> right <laughs> but right. you have to have the mental ability you, is that what you believe also that if it's a lot of it is mental absolutely and and when you come to the point of being a teenage athlete or or being a a young college athlete you you kind of you you have a lot going on you have the world going on around you you're kind of kind of trying to learn and figure out yourself and if you can isolate that one thing and put 100% into that one thing, then we believe that you will be able to overcome whatever obstacle that, that comes ahead of you in the future as well. Because you're either what, it's a, you're either going through a storm, just came out of a storm, or about to go through True. one. True, that's a very so, good analogy. Yeah, so we get, the, we get them to, to realize that and understand that earlier, and it, and it gives us, and they dedicate themselves more to us because of it, I believe. So it sounds like it's very individual based. Definitely individual. So based. more like a, a trainer kind of thing, not you just go to the gym and go work out. No, yes, we are um, a private private facility where we everything we do is trainer led, trainer based. So either my my partner uh, Brent Walters or myself or um, Evan uh, Hollins are our new our new member to the team. So uh, <laughs> either either everything we do will be ran by us or um, or it'll be a group class. So if somebody were interested in being a part of your organization and uh, to get trained by you, what do they do? What are, what are the steps involved? So you could go through Next Up Athletics where we'll have a contact section. You would leave your information, uh, leave us a short message, just kind of give us an idea uh, whether it's going to be, because we train adults and, and uh, parents, I mean students. So if um, the student, if it's your student, you would let us know a little bit about your student. Student, are you saying high school or what? Uh, athlete, whatever sport it is. Okay, so your gear is towards really making the athletes better, stronger, perform better. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. So that's um, your niche because nobody else is doing that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And, that, and that's just kind of our thing. That's Like I said, that's what I've been doing for the last that's what you know. 16 years of my life. So right? it's really, that's all I know. I love it. And that's what I want to bring to the table. It was my way of giving back. You know, you try to find that one thing that you can do to help your community. And, sure. and for me, that's it. And I know whenever I was that age, I wish that there was something like this around So it's here. more mentoring kind of Absolutely. as well. Every chance we can. I mean, that's, that's the goal of life period though, whether, you know, it doesn't really matter who it is we run into. If I can help some way, then that's So are you goal. working with um, any students from Conroe High School right now? Uh, yes, ma'am. We work with uh, um, working with a range of the programs uh, at Conroe um, before you know pre pre COVID. I guess if that's a thing now, uh, we um, pre twenty twenty. Right, right. <laughs> Year of vision here. We were working with the high school, so we would go up, and uh, I would end up working with the with the soccer team and the football team, and come help with the track team. So we've kind of developed a really close relationship that's with the nice. high school at this point. So we get to come in and be a part of the programs and you know, assist the athletes as best as we can. Like I said, these are things that I, I'm really just trying to be the person that I, I wish I had whenever I was that, that age. Oh, or that's in, remarkable. In area. Yeah, I think it's very important. And I mean, I believe it's, it's very important to get out and be physically fit. Absolutely. You know, um, put everything aside. It's a way to de-stress yes, and not do bad activities. Right. When you're, when you're having frustration or anger or 
whatever's it, going on, like you said, going a through a storm, perhaps. So you also have a clothing line. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we are you we, wearing one? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> one of our, one of okay, our next there you go. Brands. Yes, ma'am. Um, so what we've been doing lately is we just want to find a way to branch out and express and then expand our brand. Um, and we really were having a lot of fun with it. And like this has been a lot of fun for us the whole journey that we've been that we've j- jumped on so far. So when we found an opportunity to just expand it a little bit more and find another avenue and express mm-hmm. ourselves in another way, this is our form of art. So. Um, we definitely started jumping in with the clothing line as far as uh, shirts, uh, tanks, uh, women's leggings, body uh, body suits. Lightweight. Yes, absolutely. Everything's going to be for training gear. Some of it's for casual Wick away wear. Wickaway moisture. Yes, ma'am. Dry fit service. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. So we have we have a lot of fun with it right now. The clothing line is something new. It's a uh, it's kind of our baby right now, and uh, we, you know we're taking care of it as much as we can. It's it's one of those things that that's actually way tougher than you know we we have originally assumed. <laughs> before we just jump in there yeah, things that are a good idea sometimes take a lot more thought process they take a lot more thought. so they can work. get those on your website yes ma'am you can find that at nextupathletics.com very good and again you serve um, men women students yes, anybody ma'am. but yes, ma'am. they need to go to your website first to connect with you and you- then that's the best way to do it? Yes, ma'am. The, uh, the website is the easiest way to get in contact with us, but we're also on all platforms, uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. So any of those ways that you get in contact with us, we're, we're both pretty pretty active in there. So we'll be able to contact and, you know, we get, get our stuff going, get us started. What do you think? Which platform do you think works the best for your business? Uh, it's, I'm a bit of a talker, so... <laughs> <laughs> Instagram or Snapchat and Instagram, but due to the stories that I'm, I'm posting constantly, because, I mean, I like to have my face in the camera, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I'm always talking and always talking in there. And uh, so I, I have to say Snapchat gets a lot, of, a lot of attention, but Instagram's pretty big, too. Okay. Just curious. Yes, ma'am. I don't do Snapchat. Do you snap? <laughs> no, sorry. I, I have snaps that I don't even post. I just say a lot of stuff and then I save it. Oh, really? They, no one sees it but me. Yeah. I call my, it practice. My I youngest guess. son said, no, mom, you need to like not do that. Don't do it? No. <laughs> That's what he said. Snap is where it's yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll say, don't touch it, don't touch it. It goes away, mom. <laughs> it goes away. It goes away. That's why we love it. So how did the whole COVID interrupt your business uh, or was, make it go forward? Tell me about that. It was a crazy little whirlwind, honestly. Um, obviously, everyone on the planet bought all the fitness equipment that they could find. So there should be like top-notch facilities in people's garages right now, which is what I'm oh, imagining. Yeah, I've is seen happening. that in all the open garages yeah. in my community. They all have treadmills. Like, isn't that yeah, interesting? You know, top-notch facilities in the garages. <laughs> yeah. And so what we thought would it would take away from us more than what it did, and uh, and of course when the gyms huh. and everything got closed down, it, it got a little tougher for us. Um, but I mean, through the grace of God, we survived through it. Uh, and as soon as people were able to get active again and able to contact us again. I mean, we just started getting calls and I guess people were ready to get fit and start doing a little bit more. I think with this time sitting at, sitting home and kind of, you know, one, attempting to do a little bit more working out on your own or two, realizing that you're not going to work out on your own. I mean, people started to want to find a different avenue. And I think we became that for a lot of people. Hmm. And parents for sure were sick of their kids sitting around. So, you know, <laughs> I mean, I think that's what, like the main thing we got. Hey, these kids are going to just be sitting around here doing nothing. Where are you guys going to be at? And then eventually, you know, we were, before we were able to come back in the gym, we were out at uh, parks, uh, fields where we had open space with just a few kids. Um, and we were doing that with, you know, parent consent, of course, you know, understanding that the risk of, you know, COVID is here and we're taking the risk to be out there with them. And parents were working with us very well uh, and we made it work and we're still here today. So it's exciting. Oh, that's cool. So primarily they go to your venue, though, to go work out. Is that correct? Yes. We, we do a lot of training at the facility just because of equipment and, and um, space and time and strengths. But uh, when we can, we love to get out to the fields, hills. I mean, we, we, we teach speed and agility. So oh, and you got to get out. Right. You got to run. You, you can talk about it all day. But if you don't open up, you ain't going to get that's it. So true. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So tell everybody, you're over there by uh, Johnny B. Dalton's, right? Yes, ma'am, in the Wood Creek Shopping Center. So, I mean, people need to understand where that is. So if you say Johnny B. Dalton's, they kind of get it, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> sure. Especially if you're yeah. you know, a local con- <laughs> are con- they still They're still open, aren't they? Or are they not open? I don't know. Yes, I believe they are. I see. I, I don't know. I don't go out and do that. But <laughs> I mean, we see them on the way out on, on Fridays okay. and Thursday okay. nights. But yeah, they're, they're definitely, uh, definitely still going. Uh, okay. So anything else you want to add, Desmond? Um, Have we covered all your... 
bullet points? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe we have. Uh, I mean, anyone who's interested in sports performance training, uh, getting your athletes a little bit faster, a little bit stronger. But they don't have to be the no. top line, right? Not like, at all. If I wanted to start working out again, I could contact you. You could call us today and we have you started tomorrow. Or Dick. I don't know how we athletic could... Dick is. <laughs> yeah, the roll of the eyes. Okay. <laughs> but he could, and you could get him focused on where definitely, he needed to be definitely. based on his skill set. Right. And the way we do with my with me and my partner is I focus a lot on sports performance. I focus a lot on my athletes. He works with athletes, but he has a, a large he has a large adult fitness um, clientele as well. And uh, he kind of we just kind of separated into what we love. He loves fitness. He's, and it works for fitness. Right. And yeah, it's a good gosh, partnership. He's, He's a tank walking around here. If you see him a partner, you'd understand. He's just, he's a tank. He, that's what that's what the kids call him on my Snapchat. The dude's a tank. I'm like, yeah, he, he he's in here. He's okay. in here. I'm fast. Okay. <laughs> well, cool. So y'all need to get plugged into nextupathletics.com. New up and coming, and you will be hearing more about Desmond. Seems like he's a get out and get around kind of guy. Hometown <laughs> Conroe guy. Um, what year did you graduate? Can I ask you? In 2010. 2010. My son, when did my son? My oldest was in 2002, I guess it was. Anyway, uh, he's all around the area, and I'm sure you'll run into him. So give him a call, connect with him, follow all of his uh, social media things, and find out what you need to do to get in your best shape, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, next step athletics.com thank you desmond thank you for having me we're going to take another break and uh, then we'll be back with rob hamilton with the city of conroe parks and rec since 2004 roger stein chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of montgomery county and surrounding areas conditions treated include lower back pain migraines headaches whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity-verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936-441-9990 for an appointment or visit rogerssteinchiropractic.com. That's R-O-D-G-E-R-S-S-T-E-I-N, chiropractic.com. Health Center Southeast Texas is a federally qualified health center. We accept Medicare, Medicaid, and most major private insurances. For our self-pay patients, we have a sliding scale discount program available. Our health centers have qualified providers and staff striving every day to provide the best quality of care to our patients. Services offered are family medicine, behavioral health services, telepsychiatry, and pediatrics. We have four area locations. Look at the Health Center Southeast Texas online at hcset.com. Listen in Mondays at noon to hear Conroe news from local nonprofits, businesses, upcoming events, Conroe Park events, news stories, and information that matters to you with your host, Margie Taylor of Taylorized PR. For more information about being a guest, visit IRLoneStar.com slash Conroe Culture. Lone Star Community Radio is looking for those who are interested in hosting their own talk show with monthly and weekly slots available on Conroe's FM 104.5 and 106.1 and on IRLoneStar.com. Start your own podcast, create your first YouTube channel, and be on TV. Contact Lone Star Community Radio online at IRLoneStar.com or call the station message line at 936-647-3776. And the next guest today is Rob Hamilton, and uh, he's with the City of Conroe Parks and Rec. Uh, I am Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News. Uh, we just heard from Desmond Jones with Next Step Athletics. And he went to Conroe High School and then graduated from Sam Houston in kinesiology. Our program today is all about getting fit, getting outside, taking care of yourself, even during COVID. But maybe COVID's ending. I, I don't know. What do you think about that, Rob? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> well, I'd like to say it would come to an end soon, but... Uh... <laughs> I, 
Dep- we thought that months ago, right? It depends on who you <laughs> listen to. Yeah. So, but, I mean, Parks and Rec, you guys are fully open, operable, the Aquatic Center, the CK, Ray Recreation Center, uh, team sports, all of that. Well, that's that's true, but there are limitations to what we're doing. So, like, at the Recreation Center, we're operating at 50% capacity in our fitness center, our gym usage, pickleball, exercise classes, uh, things like that. And we are asking that the public continue, our members continue, our day pa- users continue to, to call in and make reservations so they don't show up and we're at capacity, say, in the fitness center and they have to wait an hour to get in or something like that. Now, if we've got an open space, you can get in, but we're still doing reservations. And likewise, at the Aquatic Center, say for water exercise or lap swim, um, everything is at a 50% capacity, and you can call in and, and make a reservation for yourself. So can you go online or you have to physically call? Because I know that the pool opens early, right? Pool For lap we're, swims we're and all our, that? We're at our regular hours in both uh, both facilities, so uh, we're not doing any kind of online reservation. Okay, call you just in. call. Call mm-hmm. in for anything you want to use. Yes. So you also have a new water park. Yes, we do. Is that still open right now, even with school starting? It is open. Uh, we opened that August 4th. It was late, uh, you know. Most, is what it is. It, yeah, well, you know, the coronavirus kept work crews from coming in, and so uh, it kind of dominoed, and we opened up uh, three months late. But uh, anyway, uh, right now we're in our what we call our late summer hours, which is uh, Saturdays and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., and then we're going to go tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., and then starting Thursday, we're going to go 1 p.m. to 6 p.m., And then we'll be open every Tuesday and Thursday, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m., in addition to the regular Saturday hours. That's nice. Well, we're having a hard time. You know, with with school delaying going back in in class sessions. In person, Uh uh-huh. So we've been able to to keep a a two-day-a-week work schedule. However, some of our lifeguards are committed to the online, you know, classes and routine in the morning. So we're going to have to delay our opening till 1 starting thursday that still works though instead of just being open on the weekends you're making adjustments we're still trying to get people in we know that people are still looking for things to do in the afternoons or kids are and it's still hot like in 100 right (laughs) so they're you know their kids are getting their schoolwork done by noon and they're looking to get out and still have some recreation yeah so are all the hours that you've just talked about are those on the website uh they those are hours we just made adjustment this morning on so they will be posted when I get back to the office. Perfect. Because yes. then I will share that in mm-hmm. the weekly article I did just to let people know. So the water park is open. Um, I haven't seen it. Does it look pretty cool? Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a great uh, aquatic amenity for Conroe and its citizens. Um, it's going to attract uh, five or 600 people a day when it's coronavirus free. You know, uh, but right now we're limiting uh, capacity uh we start off at 125 each day and then we ramp up accordingly 150 to 175 over the weekends we were able to get to to 175 and our normal capacity would be at about 375 400 people so now, cautious. we're being cautious we're asking that people wear a mask into the facility and exiting and if they don't arrive in time to be to hit that before the capacity goes into effect We ask that they wear a mask while they're waiting to come in as well. Uh, We did start a new uh, reservation type when you arrive. It was kind of a restaurant-style waiting system where you can log in with your name and your phone number, and it tells you how much longer the wait is, you know, and that notifies you by text message, hey, your time is up. So Hmm. they can go play in the park or do whatever, and then they get a message, and come back over within 10 minutes or so, and they can get right in the park, no problem. Can they bring food in? You can. You sure can. You just can't uh, bring uh, glass containers or alcoholic beverages. So they can bring snacks, sandwiches, um, water. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yes. Um, and do you have? Are you, do are they allowed to sit in chairs? Or how does uh, that we, work? We we have uh, chairs and picnic tables and lounges. And what we do is when someone leaves, and then we sanitize that uh, piece of uh, furniture. 
So uh, in the transition, you know, we're constantly sanitizing. All of our staff are wearing masks uh, through uh, their lifeguard shifts. All the supervisors are wearing masks. All the admission staff are wearing masks. And we also have a basically a touchless uh, admission system where all they have to do is say, well, we've got this many that want to come in. And if they're paying by a debit or credit card, it slides right into the machine. They sign it. Uh, they pull it back out, and then we sanitize it, and then on they go. And if they're paying cash, uh, you know, our staff are wearing gloves and whatnot. So uh, basically almost virtually a touchless uh, uh, admission system. So you have a lot of protocols put in place. We have a lot of protocols, and, you know, uh, sometimes you're darned if you do and you're darned if you don't. We've received uh, complaints <laughs> that were too much into the protocol, and then we received complaints that we are not enough into the protocol so uh, it is what it is it yeah. is what it is we're doing <laughs> we're, we're doing we're taking we're making we're following the protocols that and taking safety measures for staff and and patrons uh that's prescribed by the state of texas through the, the governor's office so, so you can go and enjoy it or not it's well, up to you it, yeah, it, it's up to you it's but a it's choice. a great water park and yes. you've just opened so that's a very nice thing and we talked about the aquatic centers open and the ck ray and you have to make reservations so you also have fall programs yes we they're do. still going on right well most of them are uh there is once again that that word that capacity word so uh for example uh um, all of our after school sites will be operating as as normal at, as of this time uh, we're doing something a little bit different with that we're operating uh, each one of the sites in what's called a, a cohort which means that the kids will once they get there they will be signed in they stay in a group uh, for that entire uh, day and then from that point forward unless we have to you know massage the, uh, the 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 management of the groups but that that contains the interaction from one kid to another uh, so they basically stay in their group of maybe uh, five, six, seven, eight kids, and uh, they're you know we don't they don't use the same supplies. They will each child will have their own supplies, so there's not mixing and matching of of uh, supplies. That's uh, challenging, isn't it? It's it's very challenging. But we finished off a day camp uh, running uh, at at uh, seven or fifty percent capacity, and it was very successful. Uh, knock on wood that we know of no uh, child who was ever in camp that had uh, COVID-19. And parents were happy, the kids were happy, the parents staff were happy. Were happy. In fact, we, we had phenomenal reviews in our day camp this year because uh, I, I think by the process that we used, uh, the staff were much more engaged with the kids this year. There were a lot of relationships that were established with the counselors and the kids, and the kids enjoyed that. Um, so I think in the, in the long term, it's one of those it. positive things that happens that kind of takes the day camping experience back in the yesteryear of like how it used to be, you know. That's nice. So it, w it was nice. Good change. Some wins. Some wins. A win. <laughs> wins are always yes, good, right? Absolutely. <laughs> During this challenging time. So you have a sign-ups going on now for kids to be active in sports. Well, we right? do. We have uh, the Conroe United Soccer Program. We're still going uh, with that we've got uh, currently 360 registered we're in late registration that is down from the spring session when we had to cut it short uh, we were right at 700 kids enrolled in that program this will this coming fall will be the fifth season so we've had phenomenal growth so we think uh, you know having 360 right now well I'm, I feel confident we'll be over 400 and uh, that's not bad and when does it start? Uh, the games will actually start September 26th. It's the last Saturday in, in a, uh, September, but practices will start a couple weeks prior to that. Very affordable program, $30 for resident, $37 oh, yeah. for non-resident. Uh, they get a jersey top, and uh, they get to keep it. So uh, it's, it's a very affordable program. You know, uh, two and a half years ago when I looked into starting this, I kind of looked around did my homework. I saw what families were having to pay to get their kids involved in a recreational level sport. And I thought, my goodness, uh, there is an, an opportunity and a need to bring affordable uh, sport to the community. 
And uh, I had done that in a previous career I was in. And I thought, you know, that it, we're, this is the time we need to do it. And so it took off. And, and like I said, we were nearly at 700. And we'll top 400 easily by the, by the time we hit the field. So we also started our U- Conroe Youth Flag Football League. Last uh, year was our first year. Uh, there's still a week of registration left in it. Uh, before we go into late, and uh, we're looking to have at least a hundred plus kids in that program, so uh, things are are growing, and, we're, and a lot of a lot of things are happening in the world of youth sports. We're also starting new program. Uh, we are starting what's called the Rod Jacks Basketball Academy. Uh, Rod was a member of the 1985 Conroe High School team that made the state finals, lost to Madison High School, who was undefeated that year. Uh, it was absolutely a great team. Uh, probably the starting five were all, all went D1 uh, with basketball scholarships. He's coming back to Conroe, and he's starting a basketball academy that will run on Monday, Tuesday evenings uh, for uh, minimum grade is third up through 12th grade. And it's basically just an hour of skills and drills. And uh, I, I can tell you that uh, – uh, he is a master at his craft and teaching kids uh, the fundamentals of basketball and preparing them uh, for you know uh, being able to learn and play the game and then taking it to the next level as well if that's their intent and desire. My my son benefited from uh, his uh, coaching and tutelage when he was through junior high and high school, and uh, that year that my son graduated in '05. Uh, they went to the uh, regional semis and lost in triple overtime. Uh, wow. So how exciting. Uh, it was an exciting time. <laughs> but Rod Jacks is, is the uh, – uh, he, he is very skilled in his ability to teach kids the fundamentals of basketball. We're looking forward to programs. that. And that's going to start in September. So that's another – and we hope to grow that. We hope that we, at some point in time, we're also going to start offering youth basketball leagues and tournaments – through Rod's uh, advice Wonderful. and expertise. A lot of things uh, to expand on. Right, exactly. So I want to um, also ask you, you have Kids Fish coming up. We do. Um, trick or treat, maybe. Uh, well, kid, kid, <laughs> now Kid Fish is coming up, kid and, it, fish. It, and we may be running a capacity there. We normally run uh, anywhere from 150 to 200 kids out there, and it's at Carl Barton junior park that's a great pond event. Mm-hmm. and they can socially distance themselves and it's outdoors and there'll be a lot of sanitizing we encourage people to bring their own tackle box free. and their own free yes absolutely we encourage uh, families to bring uh their own fishing gear if they so desire so they don't have to handle uh what is being provided uh, but everything is sanitized uh, wonderful program now there's another program that we used to offer or did have offered previously called kids day in the park we won't be doing that program this year because there's just a lot of, of intermingling and, and uh, you know, cl- climbing in the inflatables and the trackless train and visiting. Uh, and kid stuff. <laughs> kid Normal stuff. kid stuff. But a lot of touching, it's just, a lot of interacting. You need so, to be cautious. Right, right. Yeah, so kid fish is a good thing where they can catch a fish right. and um, the <coughs> uh, pond is stocked, right? Yes, it is. And then you give awards. They get a trophy, absolutely. So they have a good time. It's a good, it's a good yep. event, and, and that's I, September twelfth. I've seen kids out there catch fish that's virtually as big as they are, you know. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. Lot so of fun. first con- first uh, Thursday concerts yes. that is still in the plan as of today. Yeah, well, it is. And September third <laughs> will be our next concert. It's a uh, first. And next. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, it's our first concert. We've actually started it in April, but we had to cancel April, May, June, and July. Yes. So September 3rd, 7.30 at Heritage Place, right in downtown Conroe. It's a group called Already Gone. 7.30 or 7? 7. 7.30. Okay. It's the Eagles Tribute. Yep. And then we'll follow that up with uh, September 17th, 7.30, and then that's uh, Escape, Journey Tribute Band. And then we're going to go four concerts in October. I didn't know that. Yes, we're going to go the 1st, <laughs> the 15th, the 22nd, and the 29th. Uh, the first is uh, Rope in the Wind, Garth Brooks Tribute. The 15th, we're going to skip a weekend with Catfish Festival. So Catfish is still going on. So far as I know. Okay. Uh, the 15th will be uh, Derek Spence Tribute to George Strait. 22nd, Bree Bagwell. 
And then the 29th, we'll have Christina tribute show. Uh, uh, it's the tribute show to the Queen of Tejana. So, right. um, so exciting wow. times. Uh, we're going to try to get every concert in as promised, and we'll just <laughs> see where it goes. We're there. We I guess may, I'll be camping out there too. <laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna run a capacity there as well, you know, because the most we've ever had of the concert was probably already gone and yep. it has pulled as many as fourteen hundred. Yes. So at that we feel comfortable that maybe five hundred will be our capacity. So wow. get there early and uh, we're gonna huh. try to keep people distance, wearing masks, you know, yeah. even though they're in the park. Um, but uh, you know, some of the rules there, no smoking in the park. Uh, you can bring in food and beverage as long as you're not bringing in glass containers or, or alcoholic beverages. There will be a concessionaire on site. <coughs> Red Brick Tavern will still be there, right? Uh, that's correct, yes. Okay. Okay. So, well, that's good news that as far as we know, September yes. 3rd, uh, I mean, that is usually a jam-packed concert. Yes. We'll see what that looks like. Right. Well, we're going to try it and we're going to take it from there. You know? Yes, along with the uh, market days. And uh, so two, two in September and four in October. Four in October, yes. That's good to know. Okay, anything else we're missing? What are we missing? Well, we got a, a variety of youth programs that are happening at the, at the rec center. We're still doing our, you know, these, of course, these are all two capacity uh, limitations. Youth dance, uh, our youth tennis. Uh, we mentioned the soccer and the Flag Football and Basketball Academy. We've also got uh, an adult uh, fitness program called Rocksteady that's going on. Uh, we've got personal training. We've got pickleball. We're still running adult softball. Um, and uh, we had a, a senior dance typically uh, three or four Fridays out of the year or out of the month, and we've had to put that on hold. It's mostly a senior population, uh, 55 and older. So until we get kind of get through this coronavirus thing, then we, we've put that on hold at least through the end of September. Uh, our martial arts program is still going. You mentioned trick-or-treat trail. We probably won't have the walking trick-or-treat trail, but what we're thinking about doing is doing a drive-through trick-or-treat trail. Same vendors coming in and the kids staying in their vehicles and then being able to circulate through the park on a certain path and being able to pick up some fun stuff that way um, still looking at maybe a movie in the woods uh, still think we can run the turkey trot 5k run uh, that happens about a weekend or two before mm -hmm. thanksgiving uh, the tree lighting and conroe christmas celebration is still kind of okay. a coin toss we're okay. we're, we're we're planning for it but you know we'll Those see people, everybody's neck and neck right that. we'll see where it's going to go um, the aquatic center we're still we're, we're running our our cat swim team, our dive club. Uh, we're doing our learn to swim programs in the fall. Uh, still all those things at capacity, youth workout, adult swim, water exercise classes, um, and uh, some CPR and uh, uh, AED training. We're going to hope to resume scuba. Um, and... Uh, so I mean, so well, things are things are moving along. We're, we're trying. We're adding more and a bit by bit. Bit by bit, we're bringing things back in. Yeah. But, you know, the important things that that people have to remember is that everything that we do virtually has a capacity limit, and uh, we are following all the protocols for sanitation, uh, making sure that all the supplies and materials, if there if there's uh, multiple touch points, that they get sanitized from one class to the next. Anything that's used gets sanitized. So those are all very And as you do things. this, it becomes habit and well, routine <clears throat> the more you do this. So that right. the staff always knows and um, the people who use the facilities know what to yes. expect as yes. well. Yes. Well, cool. I, I'm going to have to cut you off okay. because we have one more person coming on here. Sure. And uh, but this was good information. I'm glad to see that things are starting to move forward. Uh, so there's st sign up still for kids programs. You can get involved. You can go to the water park. Make sure that you call to sign up or for any of the facilities. Call to make sure that you're not at capacity. And September 3rd will be the first concert with Already Gone uh, Eagles Tribute Band. So that's going to be fun. And then the uh, Journey Tribute Band Escape 
later on in two weeks later i think in september on a right. thursday all right. the concerts are on a thursday so uh you can pay attention to the facebook pages uh for the conroe city uh parks and rec or experience downtown conroe or you could we- read my weekly article and stay on top of it so that's all we have time for so go to city of conroe um department the parks and rec when you go to the home page you can see it and just click on that and see it'll take you to wherever you want to go yes. or make a phone call and ask absolutely call any one of our centers we'll be happy to give you the you know real-time update whether it's happening how it's happening uh if we're at capacity or not and, and go from there excellent all right thanks rob thank I you for having it. us once again as always Okay, we're going to take a break and be back with uh, Jessica Holloway with uh, Delta Life Fitness and Conroe. Path to the Plate is a research-based education program that helps consumers understand how their food choices impact their health by making the connection to agriculture. Learning about how food is grown and produced and how consumers can make better food choices for themselves and their families. Path to the Plate is all about dispelling myths and misconceptions. Find out more online at pathtotheplate.tamu.edu. We are Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, helping Texans make their lives better. Since 2004, Roger Stein Chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity-verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936-441-9990 for an appointment or visit rogerssteinchiropractic.com. That's R-O-D-G-E-R-S-S-T-E-I-N, chiropractic.com. Hey, guys, this is Connor. This is Dick. This is Chris. And we're with the Ticket Stub Podcast every Thursday live at noon on 104.5 and 106.1 FM in the Conroe area. Also, anytime at IRLoneStar.com. You go to IRLoneStar.com backslash TTS. You can find all of our social media. And don't forget, we give away two tickets to the Grand Theater on every show. If you like movies and you like complaining or celebrating anything that has to do with the silver screen, check out the Ticket Stub podcast and join us every Thursday at noon o'clock on Lone Star Community Radio. Hello, and we are back. I am Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News at Lone Star Community Radio, downtown Conroe. So we're talking about staying fit, physically fit, during this whole pandemic, COVID-19, and some of the different places you can go to get fit. So uh, on this last segment, we're gonna, we're here, I'm here with Jessica Holloway, and she is the owner, business owner of Delta Life Fitness in Conroe that yes, opened... Ma'am. It opened in November. In November. Yeah. It opened in November. You're getting ready to circle a year. Yes. Uh, January is when you had a big, festive, wonderful event. I yes, it was we had January. Our soft opening in November. We kind of worked our way through December being a slow time. And we had our grand opening mid-January. So, yeah, we're circling back on our soft opening here shortly. And then March, kind of the whole world the fell bottom apart. The fell out. <laughs> <laughs> to everybody's surprise, and especially with gyms, things like that, and yes. there were closures. Definitely an interesting first year as a business owner, for um, sure. So tell me a little bit about Delta Live Fitness. So it's a women's-centered, um, 30-minute, high-intensity interval um, training-style workout. We do offer child care as well during your 30-minute workout, so really something easy to fit Fit in that you can fit into your schedule 30 minutes in and out bring your babies if you need to sneak in in between homeschooling sessions and zoom calls that's what we have a lot of the ladies doing now and then get on with your day and feel like you spent some time for yourself on yourself it's super important So um, how did it work with the online classes? So what we did while we were actually closed is a handful of the coaches decided our one exposure 
of the day was going to be coming up to the studio and we went live on Facebook every single day that we were closed and performed a workout. We made modifications. Hey, you can use a step stool at your house or maybe the bench at your kitchen table, um, different things that you could do to make it work while you are at home. And all of those videos are still up and active on our members only Facebook page. So the ladies who maybe can't find time to fit it in coming into the studio can still access those. And we also have online workouts available on our app for our members. So you just were very uh, creative about yes, keeping people creative. engaged and uh, staying fit. And you do the workouts, too, yourself. Yep, I was there every single... I probably worked out more during quarantine <laughs> than I do as when we're open to fit the time in. But, man, we had ladies using deflated basketballs to do different exercise. I mean, they got... They were awesome. Awesome. You just have to keep it going. Yes. So now that you're open, yes. how, how does that work? So we have lots of different protocols in place um, to keep everybody safe. Washing hands before and after, hand sanitizer all the way around the room, spraying down the equipment between every person touching it, lots of wipies around the room How as do well. you do that when you have to go to uh, different like stations? Yes, different stations throughout the class. So um, the ladies have a wipe that they can carry around with them that will wipe down the equipment and sanitize. But if your hands are clean, the equipment is clean. And so washing hands before and after and sanitizer throughout is really, really really helpful and the quickest way to go about it. The ladies also change their shoes before they come into the studio to keep the floor clean. Um, so that's really helpful as well. Putting your hands on the floor during some of the workouts, you're worried about that, but the floors are clean as well. So there's been a lot of controversy back and forth, whether it's on really surfaces. Right, exactly. So you know, it's it's something that nobody really knows or understands, but better safe than sorry. The room has very high ceilings, lots of fans moving that air out and away from you. The AC is on all the time. It's nice and cool in there. So the area is well circulated. We spread the ladies out as much as we can. Limited class sizes due to the governor's orders are still in place. So there's not a lot of sharing and there is room between you and the next person. So it's a 30 minute workout In and, and out. they're varied all the time. Yes. Different workout every day. You'll never do the same thing twice. Which makes it exciting yes, and interesting. Fun and different every time. You're, you'll never get bored. Um, and the ladies are having a great time. They have You have to take 30 minutes. You have to take some time for yourself every day. And that mental break, getting away, is so important. I think the health benefits of the mental break <laughs> almost outweigh the physical health benefits at this time in our lives. And it's great. I mean, you can see your own performance. Yes. Yeah. You're wearing a you heart do. rate monitor the entire time. You get an email with all of your stats and results. And that heart rate monitor can work at your home as well. If you are taking advantage of those online kind of class options, you can still see all the results just like you would in the studio. And that's part of the membership. Yep. That's part of your membership. And we have an awesome special right now. If you and a friend join together, you both get 50% off your first month can't wow. beat that you can't beat that yeah and you get to come with your buddy too which is important <laughs> and you are located on uh, 105 105 right across the street from heb next door to carbon salon great partner and quick quack car wash We'll see. How easy is that? Easy peasy. Easy yeah. peasy. So are you still having fun? <laughs> yes, I'm having a blast. And it's just <laughs> such a, I mean, this, like I said, hardest year as a business owner ever. But the ladies that come in the studio are so supportive and wonderful. They, um, we really created quite the community of support. Talking about doing a, um, an online school pod where we teach each other's kids so we don't have to teach our own kids right now. <laughs> So we really all love each other so much, which is important. Yeah. Well, you get that friendship. You get the yes, relationship. It it's a real going. community community of women that are just wanting the best that they can right now. And that helps actually grow the membership too. Yeah. Yeah. It really does. And they all work out together. Yep. And get telling to know your each friends other. and meeting new friends. A lot of the ladies are new to the area and didn't have any friends until they came. And now they're you know they're going on date nights with their husbands and their kids are friends or maybe we're in the same school now. So it's great. Very nice. So what, what's ahead? What's going forward? Going Forget forward. Forget about the past. Forget Where are about we at? it. Let's move on. <laughs> Forget 2020. Let's yes. call it 2021 vision. Yes, let's move <laughs> forward. So, yeah, so we're growing every single day, ladies coming in. We're really hoping to get our numbers back up to where we were um, before all of this, which was the first goal. But we have a lot of really new, fun online options coming um, because we know this is going to be a flexible thing forever, I feel like. Um, so Delta Life Fitness is starting some really cool, new, fun stuff in 2021. So we're excited to see what they're bringing. 
So are you going to have a celebration for your one year anniversary? Absolutely. Okay. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll we'll do something. Um, we have our first thing coming up next month. We're having a uh, spa night at the studio, um, where Pout Med Spa is coming out and helping the ladies get something else off of their list. And then we're going to start working on our grand, um, our re grand opening in January. We'll call it that. Yeah, that's a good way. Yeah. Just push towards <laughs> the end. Just let's just move on. <laughs> But right now we have our ne- our last 100 days of the year challenge starting September 1st. Let's treat the last 100 days of the year like we would the first and like kind of restart our new year now. I so like that. lots of fun prizes that we'll be giving away for that. Some free six month memberships or one year memberships for those grand prize winners. So get into the studio now and get started on your last 100 days of the year. And this is Strictly Ladies. It is strictly ladies. <laughs> Man, you got to go somewhere else. I guess you, know, you can go to Next Step Athletics. I've one or two in during quarantine in between because I felt bad for them, the husbands. And I like to torture the husbands every now and again. <laughs> okay, you know? So we do have classes where you can bring a date. Um, and that's really fun to see, to bring in your guy. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, so that's Delta Life Fitness Conroe. They do have a Facebook page. Yes. And you can find out more about it by just going to deltalifefitness.com. Yep, forward find slash out, Conroe. Yeah, and then you can find out all about the different facilities they have, but you're going to want to go to the Conroe one. Yes, absolutely, and take <laughs> so, advantage of that 50-50 for sure. Anything else in the plans for you, Missy? Um, maybe a location in Montgomery. Okay, soon. that's still in the works. It's still in the works. I, I, it's Probably. We're working towards it. <laughs> <laughs> Not as soon pushed. as you thought. It definitely it. got pushed to yeah. be a little bit later than expected. Imagine. Imagine that. Okay. Well, thanks, Jessica. Absolutely. I'm glad to see that you're still living smiling. the dream. Yes. Still. Very good. And that that's a wrap for our show today. So you found out different ways to stay fit. Ladies, you can stay fit through Delta Life Fitness. You need to go check it out. It's really a lot of fun, especially when you're like throwing the ropes and doing jumping that. Jumping on the tire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't do jumping anymore. <laughs> I, I can't. Flip but, the tire, Margie. But flipping, you got it. Yes, I could do the flip tire thing. You know, heave ho. <laughs> um, you know, we heard from uh, Next Up Athletics, and uh, he is genuine. He's the real deal been very involved in sports so if you want to take your student or college student or yourself to the next level professionally working out as an athlete you can do that and then of course with rob hamilton and the city of conroe all the wonderful programs they have so that that's it for today and this is sponsored by roger stein chiropractic we'll see you next week Today's show was recorded and broadcasted live on IRLoneStar.com, Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1, and all rights and ownership are reserved to Lone Star Community Radio. For more information regarding this program and Lone Star Community Radio, visit us online at IRLoneStar.com. Lone Star Community Radio is Montgomery County's community radio station, serving the community with local programming on TV, radio, and online. If you enjoyed today's program, please support us by sponsorship or starting your own show. Contact us today by phone or text at 936-666-1084 or email the station at lscrstudios at gmail.com.